When this is feature coder here, uh, dedicated to provide very educational and um, very useful lead code tutorials for everybody who's uh, preparing for the CS fundamentals and CS interviews. So today we're going through we're going through lead code problem twelve thirteen, which is uh, named as intersection of three solid arrays. The problem is described as given three integer arrays. Say here, array one, array two, and array three. They are sorted. Um, look at the characteristics of these three arrays. They are sorted in strictly, in strictly increasing order, meaning there is no like two twos or two threes or three fours in one, in one, in any one of the three arrays. And it's asking us to return a sorted array of only the integers that appeared in all three arrays. It shows us one example. We'll just go through this example. Array A has these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. Array 2 has 1, 2, 5, 7, 9, these 5 elements. And one Array 3 has 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, these 5 elements. Based on plain sight, we can see there, there is 1, which appears in, in all 3 arrays, and there is 5, only these 2 elements that appeared in all 3 arrays. So the result that we're going to return is 1, 5. Um, there are multiple ways to um, solve this problem, of course. But a uh, user, uh, ha um, Hashan um, Vadan, shared a very um, good way, which is um, to fully utilize the uh, characteristic of these three uh, arrays that they are sorted in strictly increasing order, which means we can just go through these three arrays at one time because they are all in sorted order. This, this way is the most time efficient. What does that mean? Okay, let's um, walk through the code, then we'll figure it out. For example, here, uh, we'll continue to use Java, give it quite the result, new array list, return result. So we'll have three pointers, each pointer to point at one array i equals zero, zero. Every pointer points to one array. So while, um, then we'll have a while loop. If any one of the, if by any time while we're iterating through all the three loops, all the three arrays, if any, if we reach the end of any one of the three arrays, we'll just break. So that means if i, it, while i is smaller than, array 1's length and j is smaller than array 2's length and k is smaller than array 3's length. So that is the condition for this while loop. If it, uh, like what I just said, if we reach the end of any of the three arrays, we're just a break, right? So uh, when at what point do we add we find this element is appearing in all of the three arrays. That is when we say i equals 2 equals j and array i also equals array 3 in k. That means we find this element that appears three times in all three arrays. So we're just going to add that one into this result list and at the same time what is going to increase all of the three pointers moving all of them back uh, upward toward one right um, and then what are the other cases at this point we need to fully utilize the feature of the three arrays they are fully sorted in strictly increasing order that means if um, the element in array one is smaller than the one in array two. Let's write it out in code. If this one in array one is smaller than the one in array two, what do we do in that case? What does that mean? That means that means the one in array one is smaller than in array two, and every element in each of the three arrays are in strictly increasing order. So at this moment. The only possible, the next possible element that could appear in all three elements must appear in the right half 
of the first array, which is i++, right? That's the only possible situation, and we're not going to miss any, right? The same for the other case, which is array 2j, if the, this element and index j in array 3 is in array 2 is smaller than this this element at index k in array 3 if that one is smaller than this one the only next possible element that could appear in all three arrays is going to be starting from here right very easy and straightforward to understand and the only other case is when array the uh, the index is going to be k plus plus that's that's all of the cases and we are go we're just iterating through all of the three arrays at one at once so we're not going we're not iterating through them like three times right that's right now we can try to submit All right, it's 100%. Yeah, this is a very, uh, thanks to user Hashal Vadan, this is a really cool algorithm. It's fully utilizing the feature of this uh, sorted in strictly increasing order. Well, if you like this video, please um, do me a favor and hit the like button. It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot to spread this uh, video to more uh, fellow lead coders and help them prepare lead code interviews. Um, and also, if you'd like to see any more tutorials for any other questions or any other CS fundamentals, algorithm, or data structures, please leave me a comment below. I would really, really appreciate it. See you guys next time.